What's up guys and welcome to the show. I'm Brandon here as y'all know from Hemi Cruising and welcome back to another vlog. It is currently 5.05 in the morning on Saturday, January the 16th and I'm up this early today because I have been invited to come up to Starkville, Mississippi to um, kind of a joint venture car show thing between a bunch of different groups one of which is the car club i used to be in mississippi head turners i'm not going to go into why i'm not in there anymore or anything like that that was a long time ago but i'm still good friends with a lot of people that are in that group and they uh reached out and said hey brandon we're doing this charity event thing uh for the salvation army up here in starkville would you like to come up and participate and i said sure why not i've got nothing better to do and of course knowing me i love long drives um i'm absolutely a proponent for long drives um and it's roughly three hours up to starkville so i said sure let's go and uh we'll have a lot of fun i'll bring the camera gear up we'll vlog it you know and everything will be great so that is what we are up to today. I got to uh, finish getting dressed here. Um, these are just very hastily thrown on and uh, I got to go uncover Onyx. She's currently under her car cover where she stays for most of most of her time. Get everything packed up in the car and then we got to go get Cassidy. Here is the state of things. Everything sitting on the floor are all my camera batteries and stuff. We got to get all of that packed into its respective bags. I've got a bag over there. That's the current game plan. Uh, I'm a little bit behind schedule. Not a whole lot. I'm about 15 minutes behind schedule, which is no big deal. I can make that up on the road. Let's get going with all this. Hopefully it's going to be a great day. I'm really looking forward to this and uh, hopefully we're going to have a nice turnout, but we'll see. So we made it to uh, Ellisville and I had to stop and get gas and I also have Cassidy now. She's uh, half asleep over there. So we're like 25 miles into this 190 something mile trip. So as soon as Onyx finishes drinking up probably about $50 worth of fuel, we will carry on. So we made it up here to Starkville just fine and uh, we found a whole lot of cars. Um, I'm with uh, Mississippi Head Turners right now. We're getting ready to roll over to where this big event is going to be. They got all their crew here. They're all decked out over there with their matching hoodies and t-shirts and crap. Um, we got Cody here. He made it from the coast to Jackson and then to Jackson to here. Yeah. I don't know who else we're waiting on. I don't run this show. I'm just here for the fun. So whenever we leave, we leave. All right, guys. So we are over here at Rick's Cafe uh, in downtown Starkville and got a pretty good sized meet going here. Uh, definitely a bigger turnout than I expected. Here's your look at Onyx. This is actually the first time y'all get to see this car at a show. I've done a few things since I picked her up almost three months ago so we'll just run through that real quick i changed out the grill for the 2019 and up grill with the snorkels she now has a sticker package you can go follow on instagram uh picked up this flagpole from bad flag and i currently have the uh the newly ratified mississippi state flag on here brand new governor reeves just ratified this into law last week of course got a tribute to dad there on the back got my thicker than a snicker across the wicker bill swapped out the old or the block style font for the old cursive font decent turnout everybody seems to be enjoying themselves so i guess uh, before everybody leaves i need to go shoot some b-roll thomas is going to do some fancy editing and you're not going to listen to me anymore you're going to watch beautiful cinematic footage This is 
be here time out. just got done over at the event a great event shout out to everybody who helped put that on uh, mississippi head turners bankrupt mafia and then all the groups that showed up there was cars there from kentucky ohio indiana all over the place kind of odd for what it what was i was thinking was gonna be a small meet but we just arrived here at buffalo wild wings we're gonna get some food we got the line up here. This is not everybody. Some people carpooled with others. But anyhow, we're gonna go in here and get something to eat. And then uh, we may go do some one-on-one -on -one photo shoots afterwards. All right, so we just wrapped up lunch at uh, Buffalo Wild Wings a little bit ago. And we jumped out on the highway uh, to try and do some, a uh, little bit of racing action. And we were gonna see how a boosted 5.0 Mustang stacked up against a boosted uh, 370Z. And I don't know what happened. I got assigned to scout, so I took off ahead of everybody and was looking for cops. And I don't know what happened, but the race never happened. And I got caught underneath this, uh, this overpass with no traffic, and it was perfect for photos. It was a nice backdrop, so I just spent 20 minutes taking photos of my car. I'm headed back towards Starkville now. Apparently, they are all at Rick's again, where the meet was going on. So we're gonna roll back that way and see what's happening. I don't know what we're doing the rest of the evening. I'm staying the night up here with Brandon and uh, going back to Hattiesburg tomorrow. So I don't know what we've got planned. Uh, we may ride out to Columbus in a little bit and do a photo shoot out there. So far, I'm having a blast. Uh, it's always nice to, you know, get out and look and see how everything's doing, see how all my friends are doing. I've got friends all over the place, if you can't tell. And uh, it's really cool to just see how cars can bring everybody together, you know, three, 400, even 500 miles away. And some of my friends like McKenzie, for example, that's almost 900 miles to South Carolina. I wish I could be more informative during these logs, but really what you're seeing is, is what's happening. We make this stuff up as we go. We don't really plan a lot out. Well, I'm gonna get back to driving and uh, when I have information, I will pass it along. We just saw a, a ballin' C8 Corvette thing is absolutely beautiful what do you think about that brandon i thought it was beautiful we are waiting for chase to show up and then we are going to head towards columbus and uh photo shoot at the lock and dam with uh cody and everybody else so hopefully uh chase will hurry up and get here because we're running out of daylight so uh we made it out here to the lock and dam and we are shooting some absolutely gorgeous photos of everybody's car. And uh, these come, these turned out absolutely fantastic. Or they're gonna turn out absolutely fantastic. It's gonna turn out wonderful. It's like free promos. Cody Media, follow him on Instagram. I need a hat or something. Right? Got this beautiful scene backdrop right here. I think you've just about went through the whole line up there. It's been a great day. I've uh, thoroughly enjoyed myself. And uh, I think after this, we're going to go find some barbecue at Little Dewey. Cassidy is asleep. She tired. All right, guys. Well, we had a lot of fun out at uh, the Lock and Dam doing some photo shoots. Make sure to follow all of your favorite photographers uh, to see the results of said shoot. You can follow Cody. Uh, at Cody Media on Facebook and Instagram. You know where to find me at MS Through My Lens or at 392 Onyx. But now we are uh, here at the Little Dewey in Starkville. It is the best barbecue hands down around. If you come to Starkville, you've got to come to Little Dewey. So that's what we're doing. Brandon is going to pick up Destiny. That's his wife and they will be here shortly. I'm going to go inside and get us a table because this place is usually packed and there's usually a line. So we're going to go get some dinner and then wrap this video up. Alright guys, so it is uh, the next day now. It is, what day is it? Sunday? It's Sunday. We got Cody and Cassidy over there. They're getting McDonald's. I just ate. Uh, Brandon and uh, his wife were kind enough to cook breakfast for uh, me, so 
big shout out to them for not one putting up with me for an evening and giving me a place to stay and then two for excellent hospitality and customer service um, y'all should open up an Airbnb guys you'd be great at it we're ending things off here I'm about to go back to Hattiesburg uh, with Cassidy Cody's gonna dump all of his problems off with me and then he's going back to Jackson so back to the world of college I'm gonna go home and probably put brakes on the Del Sol because that car has just steadily been falling apart over the past few weeks we're gonna end it off right here I hope all of you have enjoyed this let me know if you like Thomas editing the vlogs uh, he asked me he came to me and said hey I want to get practice editing again if it's been a while let me edit the vlogs and I said sure why not and uh, of course we are gracious for him for donating or providing us with all of his camera equipment back there uh, to help produce these videos with at least here in the short term if you like the video like it if you don't well get off my page and uh, subscribe and hit that bell icon that's somewhere around here to get notified whenever I upload the next video but I'm Brandon and I will see you guys in the next one